二つの一族は幾度となく戦ったしかし Yo, what's up, guys? I divas here, and today I have again another new build for you guys. Today is something different. Once we will not go for damage, but for dodging and being invincible for the whole fight. You can dodge anything, you can walk through tornadoes, through meteors from BMOF, through supernovas from Teostra or Nostra. Uh, what makes it special is the synergy of all these skills working together. The build is called uh, Ninja Invincibility build and let's get to the skill straight. So we got here for first Nostra favor, 2 parts bonus, increased stamina cap. This is not only useful for this build, but also for regular dual base build or any build that uh, has a heavy point on uh, using stamina. Now constitution level 5 reduces fixed stamina depletion. Fixed stamina is not the permanent stamina depletion, which example from demon mode, but it's uh, dodging and doing um, stamina consuming moves. So the next is a wait window, this is what makes you invincible. This extends uh, invincibility for the period of time when you are waiting and I have it on level 5 because it massively increases that window and this is what makes you dodging and dodging and dodging and keeping that invincibility window open so you don't get hit with anything. So this is the most important skill and constitution on this build. Also Marathon Runner level 3 reduces continuous stamina depletion by 50%. Now this is for the actual demon mode which permanently drains stamina and you will notice a huge difference. I will show some clips later how much more stamina you got or how slower it gets depleted. The next is stamina surge uh, speeds up stamina recovery of course because you have to go off from the demon mode and stuff so you want that uh, to increase the stamina recovery speed by 30% really useful now a weight extender is not really necessary for this build because all this does is just uh, the ex making uh, bigger distances with uh, wading or dodging so this is just for your safety or something but you don't really need it to increase the invincibility so you can Put some uh, damage skills right here in uh, divine blessing why not you can remove it if you want also for attack uh, jewels or expert jewels and health boost is from the empress uh, Greece, so you can't do much about that but really divine blessing and a wix you can change that because I just wanted to make the perfect ninja build uh, you can add a lot of damage on this one and it's proved pretty much all the skills you have it's not a lot of skills but the synergy of all this working together gives you this ultimate invincibility build and uh, I will show you now what you can do with this build or how you dodge okay so now let's start with example Basil gives for example his bombs are so annoying you can just run through them he won't hit you with that because as I said the invincibility frames are so big you can dodge rolls without problem you can really run through lava without a problem as well from your nostril and you know you don't even need the evasion mantle for this if you put the evasion mantle distance is even more insane and if you see here supernova doesn't even tickle me no problem running through that you, you have to be careful uh, using uh, this uh, when your stamina is only full and be sure to use uh, the dash juice so you have uh, more decreased stamina depletion and you will have really no problems dodging all this attack this permanent damage uh, health draining attacks and now if you guys remember my video from the last time I don't know if you saw it if you don't seen it yet please check it people say it's funny I don't know if it's funny, it was only for education purposes, 
So it's a behemoth uh, clip where I dodge through literally everything, he doesn't hit me one time. You can run through tornadoes boosting that attack to the maximum with the evasion mental boost. Don't need evasion mental as I said. You can also see here, you can literally dodge everything. He has no chance hitting you with that build and the stamina recovers so fast and this is a build I really like a lot. I never used it before I made this video. I actually wanted to make a meme build, like I said. But to be honest, not using a damage skills, you don't lose attack uh, much of attack power because the most damage comes from the raw attack from the weapons. So, like I said, you can really use it on any monster. You can dodge absolutely anything. And yeah so that was it from me again guys i hope everyone's enjoyed the video i'm sorry again that i didn't post a while uh, i had some 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 really important stuff out uh i tried to be active again black ops 4 came out i really played some zombies if you want to add me and play some other games with me except then monster on the world feel free because to be honest monster on the world is dying if they don't so do anything to get some bigger content out because all we do is now pumping in fillers Arc tempered monsters are nothing more than fillers. They just took the same monster, give him a new move, give him a bit of increased attack, and giving him a lot of more HP. And what's that? No fun at all. And the gamma armors, to be honest, they are garbage. Complete garbage. Not from all elders, but 90% of the powers are garbage. So if you don't want to miss any content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications. So you get notified when I upload something new, you might need it, it might be useful. And also leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video, it really helps me. And some feedback what you guys want to see, because I'm really getting out of ideas on this game. I'm planning the next video to do probably is the from the Zora Magdaros Gamma armor set. Some crit status builds, sleep, paralyze, poison and stuff and maybe some of the strongest elemental builds. Alright, see you guys, have a nice day!